Hey everyone, welcome back. Jonathan here from Sacred Strategy. Just wanted to bring a little light to your world today about my mission here in Lithuania, in Vilnius, which is the capital of Lithuania. It has so much amazing cultural history and heritage. Did you know that Lithuanian, the language, is the oldest language in European history? And it's been a language that has been handed down through generations because of the resilience of the people in this community. Now, during a really heavy time where there was this uh, communism uh, pressure from Russia and then there was everything going on with the Nazis, Lithuania was able to hold their ground and hold their strength and hold their faith in their ability to be a free nation and and during this during the shifting time uh, there was a point where they had uh, declared their democratic independence and suddenly the Nazis fought back and suddenly it was like this huge transformational time there was so much suppression so much war so much battle and and, and so much depression and you know it really spoke to me because during this time of, of transformation for these people, they remained their faith, they remained their control, and they were able to hold on to their country, hold on to, to their people, and be able to maintain their language and their culture and their traditions through that time, and they have prevailed in the end. And I, I think it really spoke to me in a sense that through these times of my transformation, my personal transformation, when I'm standing up for the things that I believe in, for my language, for my impact in this world, it's amazing how this, the, how, how when these people, the, Lithu the Lithuanians, were standing up for themselves, they, they, it was like the Nazis came and fought back right then, right when they declared their independence, that's when they tried to bring them down more than ever. And that spoke to me because it, it just shows like when you make a stand for what you believe in and when you really stand up and you stand in your power, a lot of times that is when some of the biggest and greatest opposition hits us in our lives. That's when all of a sudden we say, you know, I, I don't know more of this relationship. And then that person comes back and tries even harder. We say, you know what, no more drugs, no more alcohol. And then all of a sudden all your friends are coming and it's like out of nowhere the universe is responding and it's like God is testing us. The universe is testing us and giving us these opportunities to break because it wants to know whether or not we're serious about it. Now another way of looking at that would be that on a metaphysical basis, we are so connected to our past, so connected to our history, that when we try to do something differently, our subconscious mind or our, our, our emotional or our energetic connection to that past life experience, to that past reality, to that thing that we've been so attracted to, so drawn to in the past, is trying to hold on to us physically. And as we step away from it, it's like pulling, it's like building this tension that's trying to keep us attached to that old reality. And we have to be able to physically step into this new reality with confidence and with faith and say, you know what, I am, decla I am declaring my independence right now. I'm declaring my independence to make this decision and I don't care if the Nazis are going to come and try to stop me. This is what I'm doing and I'm going to hold on to my language just like the Lithuanians. I think it's a powerful message because, you know, what I realize in this time is that I'm standing up for my language. I'm standing up for my truth right now. Even by sharing this message, by sharing this perspective with you, I am in turn telling the world that this is, this is my belief. This is what I believe in. And I'd encourage you to do it's the same. It's 10 o'clock. And when, 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 when things start to happen, when those transformations occur, when you start to make those proclamations and those declarations to yourself and something happens and you get tested and you pass that test friends watch what happens because that's when the floodgates open the floodgates of infinite possibility that's when you start to release that energetic bondage that has held you to this old reality when you release that you open up metaphysically you open up this new capability to transcend into a new reality you open up this opportunity where all of a sudden you're no longer connected to that old need, that old addiction that was holding us back energetically. 
and it's opening you up to this new opportunity to be able to energetically be more in alignment. And what I have felt over the past few weeks leading up to this trip, when I found out that I was being summoned to come to Lithuania to speak, oh my gosh, it just hit me. It was like, wow, I am in alignment. I know I'm in the right place at the right time right now. I know that I'm, that I'm w doing what I need to be doing. And therefore, my truth, my words, my, 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 my energy was just so much aligned. And so I encourage you in this moment forward to practice the mantra, right now I am in alignment. Say it together, right now I am in alignment. And as we step into that enlightenment, enlightenment, and as we step into that enlightenment of our alignment, we gain new power, we gain new energy and new capabilities to enter in to our vision of our future self with much more strength and confidence and capabilities to be able to firmly hold our ground in our faith and in our belief and in our vision and watch as the universe responds with trials, tribulations, and when you pass those tests, that is when you gain character, that is when you gain strength, and that is when you gain new capabilities to transcend that physical that mental, that emotional, that emotion, that ego that's trying to hold you back from growth and allowing you to step into that next level of evolution. And as you do, I encourage you to maintain that subtle faith, that subtle joy of growth as you step forward day by day, entering in to these new ways of being relentlessly you. From Lithuania, this is Jonathan Fritzler reporting to you live. Aloha.